Oregon Families for Boating Is it a group of families seeking to foster a family-friendly culture of boating in Oregon? Well, not really. This organization is actually a corporation formed by Oregon's two largest wake boat dealers to fight against laws that would limit wake surfing on the Willamette River. In other words, it's just a wake surfing organization. It organizes letter writing campaigns directed to the Oregon legislature and the Oregon State Marine Board that oppose even the most reasonable rules for wake surfing on the river. Rules that are needed to protect the environment, shoreline property, and other boaters. Their strategy has been to muddy the water with lies and misinformation. For instance, they claim to be stewards of the environment, despite the fact that they actively oppose protections supported by groups such as Willamette Riverkeeper, Native Fish Society, and Oregon League of Conservation Voters. They have falsely claimed their opponents are trying to put an end to motorboating on the Willamette River. This is patently untrue. They even portray people with inexpensive kayaks as elitists, despite the fact that a wake boat can cost a quarter of a million dollars and burn up to 10 gallons of gasoline per hour. They also hired a large law firm to accuse the members of the Marine Board of violating ethics and public meeting laws and to make other wild claims such as the one that wake surfing rules are unnecessary because there are other rules that require boaters to use life jackets and which authorize law enforcement to test intoxicated boaters with breath testing equipment. The law firm even filed a judicial challenge to recently adopted rules that ban wake surfing on part of the river. But when the time came to put up or shut up, they quietly dismissed the action without even filing a brief. They used social media groups with names like Willamette River Community Coalition to create the misimpression that they speak for a broad array of stakeholders. Perhaps the biggest misrepresentation of Oregon families for boating is their pretense of supporting all Oregonians. They seem to ignore that the National Marine Fisheries Service, Oregon Department of State Lands, the cities of Portland, Milwaukee, and Lake Oswego, floating homeowners, shoreline property owners, general recreational boaters, anglers, paddlers, rowers, sailors, swimmers, and environmental advocates favor protecting the river from wake surfing. The reason so many people object to wake surfing is because of the problems that huge artificial waves create on flat bodies of water. However, the Willamette is a river, not a skate park. It's a living ecosystem and needs to be respected as such. Scientists and engineers from Oregon's leading universities have stated that the large waves from the wake boats cause erosion that would never occur naturally, and that these waves damage the river's critical nearshore habitat. Wake surfers often claim that more enforcement is the answer, and some even complain that there are not enough law enforcement officers on the water. They don't seem to mind when they're the ones violating the law. Even the leaders of Oregon Families for Boating have been known to violate the law when they think they can get away with it. And what about the claim that they want to expose children to the enjoyment of boating? Well, most wake surfing is done by adults and they don't seem to care who gets exposed. In addition, wake surfers aren't exactly known for their respect for the process of government when they don't get their way. Oregon Families for Boating is not about families. It's about prolonging the scourge of wake surfing on the Willamette River. It's a valuable river. We should take better care of it. <laughs>